Okay, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Jada Jonay and I am back with another video. And as you already see by the title, today I'm gonna be answering you guys' questions while I paint. I got my paint stuff from Five and Below. Today I'm gonna be answering some questions, spilling a little tea, getting into it, getting into it about, you know, some stuff in my life. Today is Vlogmas Day 16. Vlogmas, I know this is not a vlog. I know y'all love to see the vlogs, but I do have more vlogs coming. So just be patient with me. And you guys will get the vlog. I'm about to tear this easel up. Did I break it? Y'all broke it. Really? You're trying to break it with my hands and it don't want to come off. So I just need to use scissors. As y'all see, your girl got her lashes done. I told y'all in my last video that I just broke down and booked me an appointment because I couldn't find the lashes I like. They're super cute but they're a little more full than what i usually prefer so i'll know next time to book the size below but i don't have much going on y'all tomorrow i'm gonna do a vlog of us getting ready for the party and all of that but besides that ain't much really been going on so, okay so that's a lot of better so just excuse the whole setup my hair everything y'all i was trying to get this video off for y'all because I didn't expect my day to get away from me like it did. So my hair ain't done or nothing, but it's okay. Cause I'm getting my hair done tonight. So I'm gonna draw, I'm pushing towards like a Christmas tree. Why well, did a Christmas tree last year? I might do like a gingerbread man. I think I wanna draw a gingerbread man and paint a gingerbread man. One particular thing, but I'll do like a candy cane, a Christmas tree and all of that. So. I'm not even gonna talk too much about stuff y'all don't care about. Let's go ahead and get into, you know, the tea. Somebody asked, are you still going to be doing So Sadidi Shop? Okay, so if y'all don't know, when the pandemic first started, I was about to start a boutique. I was about to start a boutique and I was like, I want my name to be So Sadidi because it's like bougie but it ain't really bougie, you get what I'm saying? It's another word for bougie. But that was the beginning of the pandemic and I was very like bored and I was just trying to find stuff to do. So I ordered, first it was just gonna be a swimwear brand. So I ordered a bunch of swimwear. I ordered hella bathing suits from a vendor and it came and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna launch this before before you know the summer comes because i had placed the order like in march and i was like i should be able to launch it before the summer comes. anybody who has a business should know no business should be able to just pick up like in a spur of the moment like that like literally woke up one day and i was like i want to start a boutique and that's not how it works so the first time i ever when i placed the swimsuit order i also ordered samples of different clothing items Cause I just wanted to see like, are the materials good? Are they bad? Like, that's what I was checking for. So I placed an order for three individual things outside of the swimsuits. I ordered hella swimsuits and then got like three clothing items. So I seen that the clothing items are good. And so I would take pictures and stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all remember like on my Instagram when I had on the yellow pants, everybody went crazy. They was like, oh my God, where you get these pants from? And so I just started telling people it was unreleased, so Sadidi. I had order no stop, but that's when I was like, okay, this is what people want. So you know what I do? I go to that vendor and I buy hella, y'all. I had like, I spent like a thousand something dollars on just merchandise. I ordered that, I ordered a pink bodysuit and I got this pink dress. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna launch right before, right before the fall, like that was my goal. But. 
started thinking about it and I was like, this stuff is everywhere. Like, okay, well, until I find a vendor for custom clothes, it's just gonna be like, you know, pointless. So with that being said, I just scrapped that idea all around. I sold majority of that stuff like when I did a closet clean out last Vlogmas and I sold a good bit of it. People bought it for the most part, but I realized that's not like the route that I want to go like with my business or with a secondary, you know, source of income. So I just kind of scrapped that and I was like, nah, I, I can see myself being a business owner but just not that route like i want to have my own brand i don't want it to be you know because majority of the asian brands what are they doing they're stealing most of the time black owned designs and i just didn't want to be like under that umbrella so time just came past and i just was thinking about different stuff i could do i've been really focused on youtube and building my instagram and TikTok and all of that and when I went back to school, I was dead set on, you know, being a teacher. And I really thought that I was going to be a teacher, but it just didn't work out. So I got out and I said, girl, just go to hair school. Just go to hair school. So basically, bottom line, I'm rambling. Basically, what I'm going to do is go to hair school. Cool, cute. And I'm probably going to start doing hair sometime soon. I don't know exactly when, but sometime in the future. And basically, Sosa Diddy is still going to be my brand. Like, but it's going to be my hair page. Like, who knows? I might start selling hair. I might sell hair products. I don't know. But I do want to start out just doing hair. And I don't want it to be a limit to what kind of hair I do. I want to do natural hair. I want to do weaves. I want to do all kind of stuff. So... That's my goal in the next couple of months. I'll say year. Other than Christmas, what's your favorite time of year? It would have to be my birthday. I don't think anything competes with my birthday. My birthday is literally almost my favorite time. I don't think I've ever had a bad birthday. Y'all know how everyone has that one birthday that's just terrible. All my birthdays be kind of lit. Like, I really enjoy my birthday. I can't let nobody my day. That's just how I am. Like... Even if I'm not, you know, spending a like spending spending a whole bunch of money or going out of town or doing something, I'm gonna do something to make it about me to make it my day because, bitch, it's a national holiday. So it would have to be my birthday overall. I'm gonna say, how is it living in Augusta? Living in Augusta isn't as bad as people make it seem. I think the people who live in Augusta are the are the problem. If you want to be honest, I'm gonna do a snowman. I think the people that live in that live here are the problem and that's that's why they want to leave so bad because i've never experienced like half of the things that people complain about like we got to get out of city we got we got to do this we got to do that no you're the problem like as long as you mind your business mind your business do your own thing you know don't be in everybody's face like anywhere like problems are going to come with living anywhere people think oh just moving here or moving there is going to walk give away all their problems nah you're going to have problems wherever you go i think augusta is nice depending on the area that you live in not gonna lie it does has its shady spots but that's like i said that's with anywhere you're gonna have shady places anywhere you go atlanta got a hood charlie got a hood um LA got a hood. Everywhere got a hood. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere got somewhere where you know you got to lock your doors or you can't leave your purse just sitting on the seat. Everywhere got that. Shit, in Atlanta, they rob you in, in freaking um Buckhead. Buckhead where the people with the money at. So, I mean, that's with anywhere. But as far as Augusta, of course, you're not going to have your luxury malls. Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Rolex in your mall. That's just not what you're going to get. So, the most you're going to get is a Forever 21 for my girls. A Macy's. We got all the shoe stores. And just depending on what you wear. But personally, I don't shop in no mall anyways for the most part. I like to just order online because it's much easier. You don't got to deal with crowds. You don't got to deal with people. And most of the time, they got everybody's size. So, that's really the only the downside to Augusta is shopping. Literally. Houses are cheap, apartments are cheap. They got all the food restaurants. We don't have no roof, Chris. We ain't got no, you know, we don't have all the fancy steakhouses. And you know, we don't have a fancy downtown area. But if you're looking for somewhere just 
chill to live at. You know, laid back, not too much going on. Augusta's the place for you. And I love Augusta because I ain't got to worry about doing too much. This is the picture. I don't know if y'all can see. But I got a snowman. Oh, y'all definitely can't see. Can y'all see it? Jada Waiter just dropped some, well, some try-ons of the people in her merch. And her mom had on a 2X. I got friends who are 2X. And I know a 2X when I see a 2X, okay? That has to be literally an Asian 2X because what her mama had on, baby, that is not a 2X. That's an extra large at best, an American extra large at best, if that. So I already know how this finna go. So I know I'm finna order an extra large off of real. But if her mama had a 2X on, I might need a 1X. I don't know. Cause her mom not even that big. Cause people who are like truly plus size, I don't consider her mom to be plus size. But people who are truly plus size are gonna need like a 5X. Like not even to be offensive y'all, but let's just be real. Because they run small. So I was kind of iffy about that, but hey. She added more sizes on. Ain't no wonder, ain't no wonder that, that my size that I got last time was kind of iffy. But I'm gonna do a couple more questions before I get right to it. I think, did I think of getting Invisalign instead of braces? I did consider Invisalign, but I heard that one, it's not as permanent as braces, and two, I didn't want to deal with all of the extraness. Like with Invisalign, you gotta take off this, you gotta take off that while you eat in, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Honey, I'm not, I don't have time for that. So the next question I'm gonna answer, this is gonna be my only time answering this question because I got this a lot of times. Y'all name dropping, y'all asking a bunch. So the question I got was, do I have a boyfriend? Vaguely, that's the question. And personally, I don't understand like why it matters, okay? Cause this for one, I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm doing great. And I just feel like my relationships, period, is not for social media. Like, I don't feel the need to discuss anymore. And I know I probably said stuff in the past or share little memes and stuff like that. But I don't feel the need to discuss anything on social media, period. Not on YouTube, not on Instagram, not on nowhere. Because I don't feel like it's nobody's business to be. Just know I'm happy with whoever I'm with, or what? But yeah, y'all. Just know that I'm happy. And if I'm happy, just know y'all should be happy. Point blank, period. I don't do all. Y'all, she wanna be talking. Almost finished. I didn't even use my water bottles. So this is what I came up with. <sighs> but yeah, I'm not an artist. I hope I answered some of you guys' questions. This really wasn't like a question, question video, so I'm probably not even gonna put that in the title. But I hope I answered something because a lot of y'all have been asking about social diddy. A lot of y'all have been asking about the relationship and what's going on. Just know everything is great, okay? Let's just say that everything is great, everything is 100 period it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed stay tuned for day 17 stay tuned for the rest of the days really because i have a lot of fun videos coming boy i love you all and i will see you guys in my next freaking video